Hello everybody, it is Constance with IT8 Staffing and me, Constance. I am so excited to be starting a 10 part series on Who Decisions. And we're going to read a couple of books, but the first one we're going to start with is Who by Jeff Smart and Randy Street. In, in my experience as a business owner, the wrong hire has cost me thousands of dollars and I know I know I'm not the only one who has made the wrong hiring decisions. I believe that by reading these books, dialoguing, we can implement strategies within our businesses that will allow us to make better who decisions. Now the most important decision that you're going to make as a leader, as a business owner, is not the what decisions, but the who who decision? Who is your number one problem, but it's also your number one priority, not what? What refers to the strategies you choose, the products and the services you sell, and the process you use within your business? So focusing slowly on what, you are going to continue to feel stressed. It's really difficult to grow, scale, and sustain your business if you're only focusing on what and you're not focusing on who. Now what does who mean? Who refers to the people you put into place to make the what decisions? Who is running your sales force? Who is assembling your products? Who is hiring your team? Who is really where the magic happens? Unfortunately, it's also where the problem starts. Who mistakes happen when managers are not clear on a couple things. One, managers are not clear about what is needed for the job. Two, there's a weak flow of candidates, so the pipelines are thin and so we're making very desperate decisions. Three, managers don't trust their own ability to pick up the right candidates. Four, you lose candidates because you're not able to have a compelling story as to why they should join your team. But we all know. We all know leaders from one leader to another who mistakes are extremely pricey. Did you know that the average hiring mistake will cost you 10 times in lost productivity and revenue? So for example, if you hire somebody who is making $100,000 a year and that hiring decision is a mistake, that will actually cost your company $1.5 million in lost revenues and productive, uh, production. That is pretty much, and if you make 10 of these wrong decisions, pretty much you're throwing away $15 million a year. Yikes, that's a lot of money. $15 million down the drain. Thank goodness though that who mistakes are completely pre preventable. They're completely preventable and that's what we're going to be discussing and learning over the next few weeks. So how are we going to do this? We're going to take it in stages, right? So the first thing that we're going to learn from this book, Who, is a four-step method of hiring the right people at a 90% success rate. So let's define what an A player is, people. So an A player is somebody who can do 90% of the job right. So we're going to learn how to identify those A players within our organizations. We're going to also learn how to conduct proper interviews, right? So we are going to learn by observing what some of the greatest minds have done, and we're going to evaluate things anywhere from interview questions to scorecards. And we're going to learn the secret that over 300 companies have learned and implemented into the businesses that has yielded them to have revenue breaking years, year after year after year. Because remember, the whole goal of being a leader of an organization is to help that organization achieve its goals. And in order to do that, you really have to have a team of A players. And so my goal in this 10-part series is to really have open and honest conversations with other leaders about what it really takes to make the right who decisions. I am looking forward to spending the next 10 weeks diving into what it takes to make the right who decisions. And so I wanna hear from you. Please comment below, and ask me any questions that you have as it relates to hiring A players. And I look forward to having this dialogue with you. I'll talk to you soon.